everyone, Marianne Gillespie, CEO of Red Apple Coaching. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about hiring and firing. So here's a few key takeaways. First thing is, is that if you're going to hire a friend or family member, make sure you ask yourself the question, can I fire this person? If the answer is no, that you wouldn't have the ability to fire that person, I would highly caution you to actually make sure that, you know, maybe you shouldn't hire that person. Um, that would kind of be my suggestion in relation to that. Second thing you want to look at is references. Make sure your reference checks are through the roof okay if you're hiring somebody and you haven't checked at least a dozen references on them then you're missing something okay bulletproof it really treat the references as you're looking not for validation you're looking for what you missed what did you miss in this person what is this person's key functionality if the person is hired to do systems in your organization then all of your references should be based literally on saying okay did this person what systems did this person create I did a really interesting call for a reference the other day and I was checking into it. The person said they developed all the systems and models and blah, 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 blah. Like this was amazing. And I thought this is kind of weird. So I picked up the phone because I know the organization. It's, it was kind of strange matching the whole thing. So I called and sure enough, the person said on the phone, they're like, that person did none of that. They literally did this. And I was like, all right, that's interesting. So when I explored further and looked more into references, I realized that the person felt that they created a lot of the systems and models, but they were actually already existing. Well, my position is for creating systems and models, totally different skill set. Had I only based it on an interview and what I was seeing on paper, I never would have flushed that out. So the truth is, is that the reference checks make the difference. I like to do about 12. Okay, then that means I do four personal, four friendship references, and four business to business references and that should be enough for me to actually make a decision on that person um, so that's a big one that I do always look in an interview is this person looking for a job or are they looking for a career a person looking for a career really cares about what you're building a person looking for a job is really just looking about how much am I going to pay how often am I going to pay what's in it for me is there any bonuses that kind of question people who really are looking for careers and longevity and are interested in what you're building are going to ask the right questions during the interview to me it's a it's a game off when somebody automatically in first round of interviews turns around and says, how much are you getting paid? What am I getting bonuses? Listen, truth is, is that if you love an opportunity and you're really invested into what I'm building, you're going to be more concerned about what I'm building than the payout. And that's sort of how I go into business. Partnerships. If you're looking to partner with somebody, make sure you have what we call a divorce agreement. There's a reason, like have your goals in writing, know that they're measurable, but also have something that says, hey, listen, if this doesn't work out, we are divorcing. And here's my buyout. And this is how it is and it should be very simple because partnerships have a tendency to go left right and center quite quickly so you really want to make sure you have that all under control as well so those are just a few hiring and firing tips that I want you to take with you and by the way if you're looking for a budget 12 percent that's what I go with I don't really spend more than 12 percent gross on my actual fixed hiring so that means my salaries are no more than 12 percent of my organization if I need to hire more people and, I, and I'm exceeding the 12 percent I'll do it based on a bonus base so that I can actually have the flexibility of growing and not being locked into a heavy 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 uh, salary amount okay so hopefully you like those tips and that's just a little bit about hiring and firing thanks for now